Good morning all. It's Mad Dog Merv. We're going to do a little work today on some M4A3 Easy 8s. I'm going to finish up first this particular one, which is a dragon kit of Albin Erzat's 4th Armored Division, December 23rd, 1944, Battle of the Bulge. Uh, his M4A3 Easy 8 that had the side skirts uh, removed. So I've got a little bit of mudding to do on that today. Just finish up a little weathering. And then we're going to move on to this. Going to work on the Fury kit from Italieri. And this kit has a whole lot of problems. And I think it's going to be a great challenge to try and make it into a decent Fury. One of the problems is it doesn't have any texture on the turret. It doesn't have any texture on the transmission cover. So we're going to fix that. And then on the engine deck, the it's molded in and it looks to be oversized as far as these grates. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that area anyway to make it like in the movie where it's an M4A2. So stick around, let's see what uh, what we can do with this. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm taking the front transmission cover from an M4 Sherman and it's supposed to look like this with a texture, but as you can see, it starts out looking like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make texture and I'm not going to use Mr. Surfacer that uh, so many other people use. So let me get this camera set and we'll Okay, begin. so what I'm using is xylene. Yeah, xylene. Um, I actually mix it with 90% isopropyl alcohol and use it for a thinner of my Tamiya paints. What I'm doing is I'm putting just a little bit on here. Uh, the lid that I'm using has a little bit of paint in it, and that's why there's this these dark streaks. So I'm applying it like I would a layer of glue, and I'm being careful not to obscure and destroy the stampings that are on here. What I want to do is I've let it sit for a few seconds, and now I'm just going to move my brush around like this to kind of give it a odd texture so here is the final result after paint you can see there's a little bit of a texture Not a great deal, but enough that you can say there is some. And the nice thing is for the Fury kit, I now have some stampings that the kit transmission cover does not come and with. We're going to make a couple of changes to this hull. I'm going to add a little bit of texture in this area here because this area was actually cast and then welded to these other plates. So we're going to add just a little bit of texture here. And then this is an M4A3 grill, which is correct for most easy eights. However, we're building a movie version of Fury, which means we need to put an M4A2 grill back here. I have a couple of choices. I actually have this one here, which is from a Dragon kit, which would be my preference to put in here. But I have an M4A2 great here from another Italieri kit and I think I would be best served to put this one in this place so I'm going to start cutting this out and I'm going to start texturing this so one interesting thing about this Italieri kit is on the back side here it is already uh, got a channel to um, to outline this M4A3 grate. So I'm just very lightly having to press 
and I'm actually in some places going through so it should be pretty easy to take this out and remove it okay so this fits absolutely perfect in there and let's see how well that how well that is okay now we're going to try and add a little texture here to this area i'm taking some of the ultra thin cement and just applying it liberally to the flat areas Now, it's had a little bit of a chance to soften up the plastic a bit. We're going to kind of scrub it around. So also on this kit, we're going to be removing these uh, front fender parts here so that we can uh, attach the ones for the Easy 8. And also there are some lightly molded in guides here for some of the Pioneer tools. So we're going to be sanding those off as well. So we do have one little problem here is I'm putting the transmission cover on. Uh, I test fit it and there's a slight gap right in this area here with the Italieri kit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut a couple of strips of styrene, glue it on here, and that should fill it just fine. Okay, so here you can see the shim that I put in. And this is the only putty that I've had to put in this whole project so far, is right here, just a little teeny bit. All right, so we've gone ahead and done a basic paint on most of this uh, area of the hull before we put on the trucks and the road wheels and you can see how this turned out uh, not too bad in that one area that we used the putty so now it's time to put on some uh, bogies and some road wheels okay so a couple of the modifications we've had to make is because it's an m4a2 not an m4a3 so I had to get an m4a2 rear hull section from a dragon kit I chose the one from the dragon kit and put on here so now that's on and on the actual tank that they made fury out of although it's an m4a2 it does have this deflector back here from an m4a3 but there is one thing that we have to, to do is we have to remove part of this section here which will be accurate for this particular tank. Okay, step one is complete. So we used a Q-tip. We wound up using a Dunkelgeld from Mission Models and just kind of dry brush the whole thing to try and show off a little bit of the texture. Now we're going to give it a filter and see what that does for it. And here we are applying the filter. This is actually that pin wash that I use that I call Larry's Bath Water. And I'm just going over the whole entire turret with it. We'll let that dry and we'll see what that does to it. Okay, so what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna try this little experiment. I've never done it before. So I'm gonna take some Windex and some MIG European dust pigment. And I'm gonna mix it with a bit of baking soda. Try and make a kind of a muddy paste and see how this turns out. Never made mud this way before, but there's always a first time. 
And I'm going to put a bunch, just kind of stipple it in here. It's got a little bit of texture to it. All right, here's the finished product of Albin Erzatz EZ8. You see the mud effects here, how they turned out. I think I'm happy with them. And the antenna I had to make. Put a little bit of that pigment in the dull coat and as you can see right above the track here kind of a, gave it a dusting along the side of the hull and there's the finished product well here Fury is all finished up we used logs from legend and it was pretty simple we just gave him a nice coat of a tan. I think this was uh, uh, Golf Armor Sand that we used as the base coat. And then just Signal Brown dry brushed over it. And then it was washed with uh, with our Larry's bath water. Can't really see the texture on the transmission cover. And you can see a little bit of it, but um, with all the mud on there, kind of obliterated that. But if you're getting close on the turret, you can see a little bit of texture on the turret from where we did that. The figures are from different Tamiya kits with some Archer dry transfers for the rank and patches. And we've even got Gordo's little mustache and goatee. As you can see, we got the M4A2 deck on it. And everything's lashed down. And we had some good pictures of how all of this was arranged, so it was pretty easy to do. And then in the movie, you never really see that it has a uh, bumper number on this side, but you definitely hear him use the call sign Fox 6. So that was pretty easy to deduce that that needs to go there. And then the second armored 66 uh, right there. So all in all, turned out pretty decent, particularly for how everybody's been dogging this Italieri kit.